for many students, the concept of a subspace is quite hard to grasp. Well, we know that any span is a subspace, so you can often think in terms of a span, but for many students, the concept of a span is also hard to grasp. So that just shifts the problem. A good way to get some feeling for a new concept is often to do some calculations with this concept. So we are going to do calculations with subspaces using two subspaces which are related to matrices. The column space and the null space of a matrix. Of course, these specific spaces are not defined just to give you a better understanding of subspaces. They mean something by themselves. However, that interpretation will have to wait until we have done linear transformations and also eigenvectors. So, for now, we'll use the column space and the null space of a matrix A to practice some calculations related to subspaces. Let us start with the column space of a matrix. Let us take a matrix A, an M times N matrix. That means that A consists of N columns, which are all M long. Then we define column space as follows. Well, any span is a subspace, so an obvious way to define a subspace related to a matrix is just to take the span of its columns. And that is exactly what we are going to do for the column space. The column space of A is the span of the columns of A. Then we know two things. First of all, the column space of A is contained in Rn. Well, why is that? Well, A is a m times n matrix. That means that the height of all columns is m. So the column space consists of linear combinations of vectors of m components, which means that the, uh, all vectors themselves contain m components, which means that all vectors in the column space of A are in Rm containing m components. So that's one. And the second thing we know straight away that the column space of A is a subspace because it's a span. So in this, this case it's very easy to establish immediately that the column space is indeed a subspace just because it's a span. Now, time to look at some explicit examples. Time to look at the matrix. We take an easy matrix as a first example because we would like to focus mainly on the concepts and not on the calculations here. So let's take the matrix 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then the column space of A is the span of its columns, so the span of 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. Well, the span of 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3 is just the span of 1, 2, 3 because we are allowed to take all linear combinations. We need only one vector, 1, 2, 3. Then I put four vectors here, x1, 1, 2, 3, x2, 1, 0, 0, x3, 0, 0, 0, and x4, 0, 0. And the question for all these vectors is, are they in the column space of A or not? So, here are the four questions. Is x1 in the column space of A, x2, x3, and x4? Well, let's take a look. The column space is a span of 1, 2, 3, so the vectors in the column space, if it's a linear combination of 1, 2, 3, so if it is a multiple of 1, 2, 3. Is x1 in call A? Well, yes, because it's a multiple of 1, 2, 3, namely 1 times 1, 2, 3. So, yes, this one is. x2, 1, 0, 0. Is 1, 0, 0 in the column space of A? Is it a multiple of 1, 2, 3? Well, no, because if I take 1 times 1, 2, 3 in order to get the first component right, the other two components are off, so no, x2 is not in the column space of A. What about x3? At first sight, it seems to be in the column space of A, or uh, to be not in the column space of A because it's 0, 0, 0. How can it be a multiple of 1, 2, 3? Well, in fact, it is because you are allowed to take any multiple, so you can also take 0 times 1, 2, 3, and then we get 0, 0, 0. So x3 is the in the column space of A. Well, in fact, the column space is a subspace, 
and in the subspace, by definition, the zero factor is. So we know that since we have a subspace, the zero factor should be there. And then X4 is a nasty one. It's also a zero factor, so it is in the column space of A, right? Well, be careful. This one is a nasty one. The column space of A consists of factors with three components. So in the uh, column space there are only factors with three components. So the null factor which is in there is a zero factor with three components. This factor is a zero factor but had only two components. So it cannot be in the column space of A because it ha does not have enough components. So X4S not in the column space of A. The zero factor is always in the subspace, but be careful, you, have to, uh, you need to have the correct zero factor. So, now we know the basics of the column space of A. Seen some easy example. Time to get to the next subspace, of course. Wonder what that is? That will be a subject of another video.